Hello again everybody, welcome back to the GT3 series. Um, so this is the um, Team vs Team event between MRC, NGR, SimFX and P1. Uh, this is race 2 of the race weekend, the last video covered race 1, the 11 lap sprint race. Uh, it's a little bit cluttered at the minute, but there is a little thing in the corner that says laps, and it's 16 laps this time around, so this is a feature race. Uh, the difference with this one is we've got a reverse grid. Uh, so you take your finishing positions from the last time and you reverse it. Uh, I'm sort of bang in the middle of the pack because I finished fourth last time, so I'm fourth from the back. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else? Uh, they take half the fuel out, so you only get 50 litres, which is probably good enough for five or six laps, depending on just how thirsty your car is. Um, and you've got to change compound of tyres at some point in the race. You don't have to run them for a particular amount of time. You just have to run two compounds. Uh, my strategy was a two-stop. I uh, was planning to do uh, five or six laps. Depends how fuel goes. Um, the first stint, stick some mediums on for the middle stint. Uh, try and stay consistent on the mediums. And go back onto softs with about five or six laps to go. Um, the BMW isn't the best on fuel, so uh, yeah, I wasn't holding out great hope on this one, but uh, it should see me finish higher than fifth, I should imagine. So let's get on with it. So let's cover Cutler, who always gets a good start. He gets an absolute flyer once again. Sure gets a poor start, but Cutler's going to rock it into the league. Jambo gets a good start as well. It looks like at the back they're going many side by side. That's cut them into the league. F13 gives him loads of room. Sean in third. I'm just going to slip up his insides. Uh, good racing by Sean here. Gives me loads of room. Uh, Jambu is going to get past Robinson, who goes a little bit wide. Uh, then Buddy's just going to. Is he going to tag him a little bit? I'm not too sure if he did. So that's Buddy Robinson right at the back. Big bad, big bad Bud. Another BMW driver. Uh, another driver we haven't seen that much of. Uh, so we just see Sean sticking into the wall. Uh, yeah, another driver we haven't seen that much of. F13 here uh, gives me plenty of room going into the first Degna. And uh, that's a move made up into second. I was pretty eager to get past F13 quickly because I, I didn't want Cutler to break away. Uh, we'll come back to me and Cutler in just a sec. Now we'll review where everyone's fallen out. So Cutler in first. Got away well as he always does. To copy his starts because he always rockets away. And then you got me in second. Uh, F13 with Jambu chasing him down behind. Uh, Buddy. Uh, we know how fast Buddy is. Uh, he's carrying a little bit of damage at the minute, so he must have had a little bit of contact with Robinson somewhere. Uh, Viali. Uh, interesting, Viali is on medium tyre here, so I had a feeling. I had a feeling Viali was going to offset his strategy a little bit in this one, and I was proved to be right. Uh, Big Bad Bud uh, in seventh, so he's up a couple of positions in the BMW as well. Uh, Robinson after that spin, and Sean after that spin. Sean's carrying a little bit of damage, so I'll probably see him play soon. Uh, the fight on track then is between me and this man, NGR Cutler. Uh, so the Mercedes. Probably on hot lap pace was a quicker car than the BMW, but I had slipstream, so I was able to keep up with him. Love the noise that Mercedes makes. As we go into turn one. And both of us taking that nicely. F13 still in third. Jambu following him in. Uh, Buddy and Viali relatively close. Um, again, Viali having a superb weekend of it. So absolutely rocketing currently in that GTR. A big bad bud in the Beamer. Same car as me. It's a nice looking livery that Sean, isn't it? I wonder who made that for you. Um, yeah, so with this being the feature race, it tends to settle down very quickly. And it, I don't know if it's a psychological thing. A lot of people are fuel saving. I don't know. Uh, you don't tend to get that much early battling. A lot of this actually tends to happen through strategies. Cutler does go defensive there. I don't know if he knew I was I was better on the brakes than he was in this car. Uh, the BMW for some reason does stop really well out of all the GT3 cars. Uh, so I'm chasing him down. This is the view I had uh, for this part of the race. So as we come into Spoon, 
I'm just aiming to get a good exit, really. So a good exit here is key. So I want a nice lap, narrow early apex, and rolled it out. And you can see I closed right up there. So I'm right on his tail now. Obviously, with it being spoon, I'm not going to make uh, a pass. You'll see me lift off the throttle a little bit. There you go. And that is just to make sure I don't run into him. Do run a little bit wide, though, because of the dirt. Yeah, but I don't make the same mistake I did in the last race, and I get on the brakes a bit earlier. That compromises my entry into the Casio... Uh, sorry, the exit from the Casio Triangle, though, so I get a slower exit than Cutler, and thus loses me loads of time. And does put me in the claws of Jambu a little bit. As he sets his personal best lap time. Uh, Buddy up into fourth, then past F13. Vial has got the same job to do in uh, a lap or so's time. And yeah, things have spread out a little bit now. Uh, the front sort of six are relatively close together on track. Uh, but there's not much in the way of fighting going on. As you can see, the cars just stream through the S's uh, for the third time. Uh, I am chasing, I am pushing, so it, it would be um, rude of me to say I wasn't pushing here. As you can see, I am really, uh, really going for it. I wasn't really fuel saving. Cutler's got a little bit more fuel than I have. Uh, my strategy didn't rely on fuel saving. It would save me time in the pits if I did, but I wasn't too focused on it. Uh, I would rather have kept in the slipstream of Cutler than, than save the fuel. I think that's worth more time here. <clears throat> Especially in this car. So, what I think we we'll should do is just cut forward a little bit and we'll see some pit stops play out and we'll see how that lands everyone once the, the strategy starts to unveil. I'm coming towards the end now of a lap number of five. Uh, Jambo, who was on a chase down to me, has now got Buddy all over the back of him. Uh, so his attention's probably gone off me for a little bit and I'll be thinking a little bit about Buddy. He outbreaks himself a little bit coming into Spoon and just gets, uh, just gets caught on the Astro. Doesn't run Buddy off the track when he re-enters, but he does lose his place. And he is now going to be in the clutches of Viali as well. So Viali's going to get a better run uh, coming down the back straight for him. So, again, something to watch out for. Uh, I go wide again. Oh, I love doing that. Uh, just It costs me time every single time I do that. So I'd love to say I was gaining an advantage out of it. Um, I know it's Cutler didn't pit here, so I opted to pit. Uh, I thought I'd pit now. I would have had to fuel save on my last lap if I didn't. Uh, Jambu also joined him in the pits, and so does Viali. We've got similar levels of fuel left, uh, but Buddy carries on, and so does Cutler. Uh, so Obian when I should come out in third. So I won't uh, necessarily lost that many places. I've lost one to Via uh, Buddy, but... Uh, he hasn't pitted yet, so he should get that back. Uh, we don't have to observe the white line, by the way. Um, it's not in our rule book, so I came straight out there to get myself the best entry to the corner. So what I've done, I've slapped the mediums on and I've fueled for a six-lap stint. Knowing I probably won't need all six. And my aim was to get to... I think I was aiming to pit again lap ten, I think I was looking at. Uh, end of lap 10, I think I'm on a pit again. I'm not too sure. Can't remember now. It was a few days ago. I have slept since then. Uh, so, Buddy not pitted yet. He's carrying a little bit of damage. Uh, doesn't affect him too much. We've, we've seen Buddy carry damage a few times and he, he doesn't sort of suffer too much from it. Uh, Cutler well and truly pulling away. Putting in some really good lap times as well. Uh, all in the 59s other than the first two laps where there was a bit of battling going on. So, Cutler's got some real good pace. So I wonder if we can see that translate into a win. Uh, Cutler last season was, was absolutely cursed. So um, it's good to see him able to string some results together at last and, and be in a competitive car. He really struggled last season. Uh, we'll see if those guys peel off into the pits and where it leaves them. Uh, F13 still ahead of Jambu as Jambu just goes wide at Spoon again. That's uh, going to cost him a, a few attempts at least. Viali is pushing. He's pitted now on softs and he's fully fueled up. So Viali now, I think, is going for the push. So this is it now for Viali. No more pit stops. 
couple of steamer working on his car in their yellow tracksuits. But he really is empty on fuel now. now. Let's see if his pit crew repair that damage to his car. That will take a second or two to do that. So, I at this point assume the lead of the race. Net lead, of course, because I've got to pit again. Uh, but I am going to pit for a couple of laps, but I am on the slower tyre, knowing that the guys behind uh, will probably be pushing as well, similarly. So, Cutler comes out just in front of Janbu. Uh, Viali comes out in fourth, of course. He's now on the soft tyre. Uh, Buddy in fifth. He's on his medium stint as well, so he's running a very similar strategy to me, but looking at it, he's put loads of fuel in, so I think he's going to the end. Uh, F13, same, I think he's going to the end as well. Robinson going to the end, and Sean is still pitting, so I'm probably the only one that's going to pit again. Uh, Jambu is going to pit again, looking at it. Uh, so me and Jambu running pretty much identical strategies in this race. Uh, we're going for the two-stop, I think it's faster. Of course, currently I'm in the lead, but there is no way on earth. There's no way on earth I can carry this one through. Cutler's going to uh, go along. So, at this point, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I could have could have stuck another 50 litres in and gone to the end. Definitely could have took the mediums to the end. They had good long life, and in hindsight, probably should have done. Uh, but there we go. And learned and all that. Uh, first place for me though so far, or, although we know in three laps time that will come to an end, uh, unless I can pull a magical gap to these guys. At this point my gap was about four seconds, he needs a just over ten for a pit stop. Uh, not including fuel, including fuel probably about hmm, probably about 13, 14 seconds. So I really needed to to um, pull a big gap. At the minute if I pitted now I would probably come out behind Buddy. So definitely not worth me pitting right away, and most of the guys in the top lot are going to the end. Uh, flip through the order, and like F13's in six, uh, has gone backwards in the race, but is doing a good job in that race. So it's his second race back with us. Uh, Robinson in seventh, absolutely ragging the nuts off that GTR. We know he's going to the end now. Uh, Big bad bud going to the end. He's on the softs. So I'll have a look at his tyres at the end and just see how they're shaping up. Because my tyre, my car was destroying them. And then sure, on mediums going to the end as well. So interesting strategies. Let's see how that all plays out. Lap 10. Jambu's coming under some serious pressure from Viali. We know Viali absolutely sends it into turn one. And he does the same thing to Jambu and up into third is Viali. It's kind of key for how the race progresses because don't forget Jambu's pitting again and in theory should be faster than Viali on occasion of light fuel but Viali's on the faster tyre I guess so uh, tyre easily worth a second a lap round here if you're on the softs. Uh, the good thing for me, uh, Cutler is on the same tyre as me and he's heavier on fuel so I'm pulling, I am starting to pull a bit of a gap now that um, I've got clean behind me I'm light on fuel, uh, and I can um, I can just push away. Uh, but this is my in lap, if I remember correctly. We'll find out in just a minute. Uh, as it stands, I'm coming out behind this one. I don't know if Buddy's gonna be. Um, I don't know if Buddy's gonna be. And there's a gap there, and that's the gap I was looking at, and that's probably the one I was gonna sift out in. We'll have a look, though. We'll see. Uh, F13 still in six. No real position changes have taken place. Everyone is where they were before, other than the Jambu Viali switch that we covered. Uh, yeah, so looking at my fuel, I've got to come in this lap. I only fuel with enough for my stint. Uh, I've run the mediums quite well, but as you can see, I'm running them at mid two minutes. Uh, whereas the softs can get me in the 159s on race pace. Uh, again, not pushing the car too much. The softs can do 157s, I think. Uh, got a couple of 157s out of it. So I pit. 
going to bring Cutler out in front of me, so he's going to uh, assume the net lead of the race again. Uh, Vial is going to assume second, and John B will assume third. Buddy Pitt's with me. I'm not sure why, because he didn't need to, did he? Oh, he's sticking softs on again. He's just going for a change of tyres, I think. Yeah, he's just going to the softs. So, I think what Buddy did there, um, C and I come in, it, he saw me come in, um, and he knows that if he can go on softs, um, he's going to have a real chance towards the end of the race if he's on the same tyre as me. Because uh, that Aston Martin is a, is a bloody quick car. Okay, so, the two stoppers have made their stops. Uh, let's see how this one, oh, Jambu's still going to make his, but yeah, we'll see how this one starts to pan out. A lap later then, and Vial is right on the tail of Cutler, and he's going to make his favourite move of the race, uh, the Viali special. Just brake later than he dare, and he doesn't even brake, he just goes straight into it. Uh, there's such composure in that car, and he's up into the lead of the race. He's on the softer tyre, uh, so he can just start to run away now. Uh, bearing in mind, he's still got to carry these tyres another four laps, and they do fall off the cliff fast. Uh, so we'll see how that works. Uh, Cutler's on the medium, so he shouldn't have those tyre woes. Uh, Jambu's pitted. So I'm now going to the end. I've got enough fuel and fresh tyres. So I am pushing now, uh, but I'm up on my starting position, so everything's a bonus. Uh, Buddy also on fresh tyres, and he is equally pushing. Uh, at this point, uh, I don't think I want to say it was like a three or four second lead to him. Uh, so not a vast yawning chasm of a lead, but um, just enough at the minute. I was pulling a good gap in sector one, and then he was reeling me in from here on in, really. So from this part of the lap onwards, Buddy's all over me. I've uh, got Jambu come out in fifth after his pit stops. F13, still in sixth. Uh, Robinson is catching him though. So not a million miles away. We'll see if Robinson can make a move towards the latter part of the race. And Sean sticking with it, not getting the results he necessarily wants out of this so far. But uh, full credit to the guy, he sticks at it. And he's a good racer, so it'd be good to see him pick up some results uh, moving forward. Uh, let's take you for a bit of a lap of Suzuka, actually. So if we jump on board with me. So you want a good of exit as you can out of the Castle Triangle, because it does dictate your uh, speed all the way down this uh, first straight, as I just pick up my fastest lap of the race at 159.2. So I'll break about at the 50 board, uh, down a gear, and then sort of trail break into turn two, or ride the kerbs, power down as early as you dare. This is where the BMW is really good, abuse the kerbs then, uh, left and then right, uh, full, full, full abuse of all these kerbs, a uh, little dab of the brakes, and this one does tighten up. And then again, just a little lift as you come over the crest back on again pretty much as soon as you see the kerb so uh, you're on the power as much as possible uh, breaking about the 50 board uh, clip as much of this corner as you can just before the kerb ends break throw it in eager as you dare and that corner the second degree is deceptive you don't want to get power down too early because it will throw your car off wide uh, abusing the gearbox coming into the hairpin uh, getting on the power as soon as I can you can see I'm pulling Cutler in uh, I'm gaining on him, uh, slowly but surely, uh, I've got three or so laps to do it, flat out through this bit, approaching Spoon for a bit of tarmac on the right, break there down two gears, all the kerb in the world, all the kerb in the world, and then roll in for an early apex and hold your line, again, roll it all the way out, and then up the, the, uh, the back straight. In terms of 130R, can be taken flat if you're brave. I can't remember if I take it flat here or not. I do. Take loads of kerb. As long as you get your entry point right, you'll be absolutely fine. Breaking at about 110 metres, something like that. Uh, and then abuse all the kerbs at the Casio Triangle. 
Uh, so that's me catching up. Let's uh, see how this develops as we close in towards the end of the race. Didn't have to look that far forward um, to find some action. So I'm right on the back of Cutler now. And as we exit the hairpin, he just gets a little bit too eager to get away and just piles on the power. They've still got a steering lock on. And unfortunately, that's him lost a ton of momentum. He's at risk of Bunny getting by as well. Uh, but he's going much faster at this point. We'll go on board with Buddy and see what he does. So Cutler just uh, just sort of cuts his line, so to speak, at Spoon. Uh, this is helping me out. Uh, now I'm in seconds. Cutler again going a little bit wise. Uh, so now I'm in second. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this. At this point, Viali was gone. Uh, he was just miles up the road, to be real honest. So there's no catching him. Just watch this battle develop. Cutler just brings it back to the um, to brings it back on the braking. And blocks off that apex, gets an absolutely appalling exit though. Right, it's really close between these two. As Cutler just moves to take on the racing line, and Buddy's going to have that move done in the braking. Uh, Cutler just swerves to the inside though. Uh, but Buddy's going to have that one had. Uh, let's do a little bit of a check on progress anyway. So, me and Buddy, roughly same tyre wear, roughly same fuel. Uh, not much to pick between us in terms of what we've got going for or against us. Uh, but Viali's tyres are shot. Uh, he's got two laps to carry these things, and they, at this point in time, will be providing no grip at all. You can see his, his lap times, he's lost a second in the last two laps, two seconds, sorry. Um, I worked out at this point, he was eight seconds ahead, or not, about six seconds ahead, he'd, he'd basically have to lose, he'd have to be running 2.02s for me to catch him, uh, which wasn't likely to happen in brutal honesty unless he binned it. So as long as he keeps it on the black stuff, he will be okay. Cutler just gets a little bit squirrely again, uh, but now Buddy is on a charge. Uh, he's on his way to me, that Aston in this sector. Uh, we'll just go on board with him again. You can see just how much that Aston just closes up on the pure and utter pace. Uh, it was only about here I really noticed that gain coming in. I was going up this straight, watching the sector time just tumble. Uh, a couple of attempts at least on this back part of the straight very easily now the gap is picking up some slipstream as well so that'll be helping him he does lift a little bit going through there which helps me escape a little bit because I can take that flat and I go a little bit deep into the Casio triangle I'm just trying to maximize my lap time as best I can and we're on to the last lap of the race I might as well stick with this now so Viali with his shot tires He's still racking the nuts off his car. Uh, I've got... Uh, oh, but he just gets it a little bit wrong. Let's go back and have a look. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to cover this, mate. And then, um, only for the sake of the story, um, we're pushing that hard. Just goes a little bit too fast into turn one. And we've seen this happen tons of times. Uh, how he, uh, he then, in pursuit of second, uh, loses third, fourth... And he may have to settle for fifth unless he can get himself back on the track again soon. Uh, so Cutler's in third. And I breathe a bit of a sigh of relief because I know that um, Cutler's probably not going to catch me with the gap uh, I had to him. Jambu's done a good job in fourth. Uh, has been off track a couple of times as well. So uh, makes it even more impressive. Uh, buddy after that spin up a little bit of damage, has shot his tyres as well, so he's just got to bring it home now. Uh, Robinson in six has managed to get past F13, as we commented earlier, uh, and Sean's sticking with it. We have lost Big Bad Bud, um, he, uh, he's out to retire at some point. Uh, let's stick with this man though, for the rest of his lap. Really pleased for Viali, I, um, he's a man I've raced with quite a lot increasing amount over the past couple of months especially in the GT3s and last season the GTTCC um, seems like an absolutely solid bloke and I was actually uh, although I was 
wanting his first position. You see me, I'm really, I'm reeling him in. Um, two more laps and I'd have had him easy. Um, but he did a really good job, pulled off a good strategy, has stayed really consistent. Uh, didn't really put a foot wrong in this race at all. Uh, and you've got to hand it to him. Um, you know, worked a, worked a really good strategy, did a really good job, really happy for him. I think it's his first win. So a brilliant job by Viali. Uh, I bring home second. Uh, so again, more decent points for me in my championship fight. Uh, Cutler brings home third. Jambu in fourth. Uh, Buddy after um, after that spin last lap. Uh, he's probably going to be a bit annoyed that he's in fifth. Uh, that car definitely had potential to be on the podium. Uh, I see Robinson in sixth. F13 in seventh. And then Sean, bringing home an 8th to round out the grid. So we didn't have that many people in tonight. We do normally have at least 13, 14 people racing. Uh, a couple of people couldn't make it for one reason or another. Um, but online lobbies are online lobbies and you won't always get 100% turn up, which is unfortunate. Okay, so that is your lot for this race. Uh, we'll just do a bit of an outro and talk about the sponsors and stuff. So... So that's round five over and done with. Um, well done to Viali uh, for winning the feature race. Uh, not at all bitter about that, my friend. Um, uh, but no, that seriously will do him some good uh, work, especially in the championship, because him and Buddy were really close. Uh, separated by like a point, I think. Uh, Buddy, Cutler, uh, sorry, Buddy, Cutler and Viali were like separated all by one point. So that's three different manufacturers represented between those three guys all in a point of each other. Um, in terms of the championship, the my main rival at the time was Jambu. Uh, he was nine points behind me and the guys that were in third and fourth couldn't race this week. Third, fourth and fifth, sorry, couldn't race this week. Uh, my apologies, no Robinson's there. Um, so yeah, Joanna and Dangley Ball couldn't race this week. And you've got Perzler E30, so yeah, there's a couple of guys that have unfortunately dropped points um, in this race. Um, and yeah, uh, good racing throughout. Next week we go to Fuji, and with that one we're doing a, a one-hour endurance race uh, around Fuji Speedway. And we then have um, we then have a half-season break where we break up for like two weeks and don't race. And then we're going back to the dreaded Nürburgring at the end of the month. So, uh, oof, I'm absolutely dreading that one. Right then, um, in terms of um, in terms of sponsors, you can see slapped all over my car. All the sponsors' logos. Uh, not a snap on, of course. That's just there to fill a gap that I couldn't be bothered to fill with anything else. Uh, Excite Energy slapped all over the side of the car. As you see, they're a big sponsor of Next Gen Racings. Uh, you'll also see uh, logos on the bottom of the doors for GT Omega. Uh, they make racing rigs and cockpits and stuff. Uh, Fussmaster, as you see on the back of my car, I actually use a Fussmaster wheel, so I run that logo on every single car I make anyway. Uh, but they do actually sponsor this. And then, as you'll see, uh, everywhere else, really, uh, David Appleby Engineering, the DAE logo. Uh, they're, uh, they're basically make race cars so that's your peeps if you're looking for pro coverage as well because the same races take place in a pro lobby where the aliens reside that's covered by dark smoke on his youtube channel there will be a link to that in the description below uh, short of that you'll see me next week for the review video for the gt3 again uh, with it being an endurance race probably expect just one video that covers the whole thing like a highlights reel so to speak uh, I've got to go and work out my strategy for that and do some testing I haven't done any yet uh, I need to go and set the car up as well because Fuji's got some weird corners that I need to sort of adjust the damping for and stuff I've no idea what I'm doing with it yet so I need to go and work that all out um, but yeah a uh, big credit to everyone who raced it was uh, it was a really good enjoyable race this time around uh, second and a fourth so I can't be too annoyed at that and uh, there we are. So thank you very much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.